Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead, author of the book, Freedom from Suffering, A Journey of Hope, and someone living with chronic pain for over 30 years and thriving with my chronic pain for almost 29 years now. Before that, it was not so pretty. Today, I want to talk about the role of expectations in chronic pain management. I had catastrophic expectations early on in my pain management journey. I also had some really negative anticipatory pain re, uh, expectations. I thought it was always going to be horrible, awful, and terrible. I thought my life was over. I thought life wasn't worth living. All those are examples. Now if you're watching this video on YouTube, please, to learn more about this topic of expectations and anticipatory pain, please check out my personal blog at the link below. It's really important if you or someone you love is living with chronic pain to have knowledge. Knowledge is power. The more you know about it, the better. I like to tell people that expectations can go one of two ways, catastrophically or positively. And I also call this negative expectations anticipatory pain. Anticipatory pain is a phenomenon to where we start expecting things to be horrible, awful, and terrible, and sure enough, we create a self-fulfilling prophecy. I believe that everyone living with chronic pain deserves to have freedom from suffering. I believe it's a right. However, I also believe it's a responsibility. So if you or someone you know is living with debilitating chronic pain, Please share this information and go to the personal blog and read about this anticipatory response and the role expectations play in chronic pain management. Knowledge is power, but as Cahill Gibran said in The Prophet, a little knowledge that acts is worth infinitely m much more than much knowledge that is idle. So get into action and take a stand and expect things to get better but it takes more than expectations, it takes action. Moving beyond anticipatory pain is definitely possible. Thanks.